So let's put our quantities in. We have a 2x on the radii, and that's it. So if I double click on my radius here, go to the home or the backspace key and put a 2x space. My home key does not work on my keyboard on this laptop, so I hit the backs, the uh, left arrow key, not backspace, but the left arrow key. Now I'm going to select all the dimensions. So I could select them like this. Make sure it doesn't grab. See how it's grabbing the view? It will not arrange if the view is selected. So I could just say, oh, I'm going to grab all these. And it will not do leaders. I tried that yesterday in the other class to see if it would work, and it doesn't do a thing with those. So don't worry about those. Just the linear dimensions. And I got an angular dimension in there. Let's see what it does with that. So I selected all these. If you select them in just one view, it'll let, it, it'll let you push and pull them. But I'm going to hit the Arrange button. And you can see that it's going to pull these out. And it didn't even set this one up right. And I don't know if I did this correctly. So if I push this up, it will snap to be at um, exactly... Point four. So right here, I can go to options and arrowheads outside if I want to do that one. I could do that here. It's up to you how clean you want your drawing. The clear, oh, look at my angles. Ha, they flipped out. So let's pull those back in. And when you pull it in too tight for the text, it's going to flip outside. And now I can pull this out. So this tells me that I may want to pull these out a little bit further. And that will snap there. And then this, this just really messed up down here. So you may not want to do these um, angles or the align dimension. Maybe you want to set this up. Now that just snapped. That just snapped to point 0.4. So because we put that number in there, Point 0.4 in our dimension style, it's snapping to that. Maybe you want to make your point 0.75 and your 90 degrees first so that you can line all these up if you want to. And it's clarity makes the drawing as best it can be interpreted. All right, if you need more space here, you can pull it down. Uh, let's see, this one right here, I don't like that. I'm going to pull that one out. These are overlapping. And this happens with vertical dimensions a lot because the text is too long. All right, we've got our quantities in. We've arranged our dimensions. We're going to save this, and we're going to talk about the GD&T on this drawing.